See this boy you grew yesterday because suddenly he was bigger. As long as I feel bad showing him out here, but my mental health matters. <laughs> The brightness of this day has given me the opportunity to bring you this video. Welcome back to my channel, Winging It with AC. My name is AC. So today we are doing a baby update. So I meant to do this. I feel like in my past few videos I keep saying I meant to do this. I meant to do that. Yes, life happens. But I meant to do this um, a few weeks ago, um, basically like after he turned two months. So that's like. You know, like it's like two month baby updates but here we are the human being 10 three months yesterday i don't know when you'll be watching this but um as i'm speaking now recording this video he's three months now 10 three months yesterday <clears throat> so i am not going to do the update so basically this update is going to talk about his growth and development over the past one month so what i noticed um in his body and whatever over the past one month from month two to month three now i'm in this position because landlord is at my back and i couldn't somehow i couldn't adjust him well so i so his neck is kind of like you know so i'm bending over a chair so that um at least his head rests on my back so that's why we're in this position, just in case you're wondering. Okay, this human being became quite alert at two months. I'm not even kidding. Because I noticed that, you know that thing where um, babies, like let me just say breastfed babies, like they start getting distracted. So they will be feeding and then they would hear a noise or they would hear somebody walking through and then they will turn. If you're not lucky and they turn with the breast in your mouth, your breasts don't turn chewing gum. May the gods be with you but he started doing that and i remember the first time he did that i said ah so soon like what what are you looking at what do you want to look at and i remember serum and i i will keep sort of making these comparisons with my first child which is serum because that's the only thing i can like compare um this experience to but serum started that around i don't know four months this one he started early he's become so alert and be looking around sometimes he are feeding and then he's he hears something then he will turn he's become very very alert honestly i think he, he's become alert early i haven't gone to read about like when they generally become alert like that but as far as i'm concerned he has become alert early okay and now part of his being alert also includes um smiling um now yes now he smiles and it's not the reflex smile so you know when they're first when they are born they have a lot of reflexes and they still do um but the smiles are reflex smiles so it's like sometimes they are falling asleep when you're like they are not intentionally like consciously smiling it's just a reflex thing but now it's more conscious so if he sees your face and he knows your face he starts smiling so he's been smiling at me he's been smiling at Sarah. he's been smiling at his dad which he now it's at a certain distance so <clears throat> for those of you who don't know when it comes to baby development when they are first born they can't see you they can't see but they can only see like if something is this <laughs> this close to them then as they grow they can see things a little further so right now I think the last month you read, read up on it and I think around his age they can see about eight inches five to eight inches from their face so if he's in his bouncer and I come and look at him my face has to be like I'm sure you will not be able to see the measurement but, but my, my face has to be like this close before he see that it's my face and he will start smiling so I bring my face that close and I smile at him then he starts smiling and Lord toothless smiles just melts my heart if you're a bit farther away, he can see that there's something there, but he's seeing like a tree. <laughs> you see that verse in the Bible where the man said, I can see the blind man. I think it was it the blind man who was being here? He said, I can see the men like trees. I see men like trees. He's seen, he's seen us like trees. So he can see this, like a, a, a farther distance away. It's like he can see that there's movement, there's somebody there. 
but he can't see sharply as sharply as he can see if it's like this so if i'm standing there and i smile he's looking in my direction and i can see through me and i smile at him he will not smile back but if i bring my face close to his face like this and i start smiling he starts smiling and the other day Sarah was in his face like this and he was just smiling at Sarah and then he would cool and then he would smile it was really cute um same for his dad <clears throat> And then we've noticed that if he doesn't know you, he won't smile. So we paid a visit to Richie's parents over the weekend. And um, because he that was his first time basically seeing his grandfather. So his Richie's dad took him and then he was smiling at him. And he, he was just looking at the man like, who are you? But immediately Richie took him and Richie smiled at him. Then he started smiling. We're like, okay. So he, he like they will smile at faces that they see often. So they are familiar with those faces. And I always start with mommy's face because mommy is their food. <laughs> mommy is their bread and butter. <clears throat> so there's that. And um, so that's something. When I noticed that he was consciously smiling, it was like about, I don't know, two and a half months maybe. Yeah, I would say about, at about two and a half months. Um, I remember at his outdooring, I was complaining to Sianoki and um, Perpetual that oh, my baby likes crying too much when he's bath. It's like me, me, my babies like crying when they're bathing. Because Sarah, when he was a baby, my God, he could cry and confuse his grandmother. <laughs> anyway, like Sarah used to be like his bathing, he would cry. When he ain't crying the more, you know he's being given his bath. And same thing was happening with him until after I made that complaint, literally, he was six weeks then. The following week, he stopped. Now we are bathing him, he doesn't cry. <laughs> Since then, he's cried like twice when bathing, and those times I was the one bathing him. So I don't know what I did to him <laughs> when I'm bathing you, that he cries. But he doesn't cry when he's bathing anymore. Since six and a half weeks or seven weeks, he doesn't cry. He just be there. And enjoying the water, enjoying the touches, or whatever, but he doesn't cry anymore when he's bathing, so <clears throat> that's actually nice. Um, when he was first born, in his first, if I should say his first four to six weeks of life, he had a lot of that baby acne on his face, like pimples. But the thing with his is that when they disappear, they leave a fair patch, so his face, his complexion was patchy. So you see a lot of, and a lot of them were here and then his ear. So when they go, then his, this part of his ear was fair relative to like the rest of his body and his neck as well. And here, so I remember somebody saying like, oh, what's wrong with his face? And even the doctor asked me, and I was like, when the thing goes, that's what it leaves behind. So um, we stopped using the soap that we were using mm -hmm. for him and then we bought um, Aveeno because i had heard what it does this was way back when i had serum so i went and bought that one it has oatmeal extracts and it's good for eczema and you know people with skin problems so we went and bought the soap and the lotion and then within a week we started seeing a difference like his complexion was evening out the fair spots were were um getting darker and um his his skin tone was evening out because i was actually quite worried about it um in the days leading up to his outdooring but by the time the outdooring would around it wasn't so evident it was quite it was evident but not as bad as it was um two weeks prior to that and now everything has evened out but there, there are still those patches on his neck though but that is fine now hey this boy eats he did chop chop master he did eat this boy eats this boy eats um he eats a lot and compared to serum the amount of milk if i give him a milk in a bottle the amount of milk he's drinking now in a bottle is more than what serum was drinking in a bottle at his age so the boy they chop and yes he likes to use my boots as a pacifier i don't know which breastfed baby doesn't it can be annoying sometimes honestly um richie tries to give him a pacifier uh, but sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work i don't know <clears throat> and then recently he had a growth spit now how did i know this so we traveled on saturday on sunday 
but this boy refused to wake up like he didn't want to stay awake usually when i lie in bed and i feed him for a while and i know that he's full and i put him in his bouncer he would be there smile at his toys laugh smile at his toys cool yes he's been cooing he's been cooing and he's so cute he's been cooing he's so cute anyway um but sunday he just didn't want to i put him in the answer he start crying he wanted me to hold him and he would just sleep this boy literally slept the whole day he's like when he was awake he didn't want to be awake he just wanted to sleep and by the following day that sort of subsided and i was like mm, what is going on so i went to google it and i was like ah, maybe it's a growth spurt so i went to google it and indeed um growth spurts happen at certain major i don't know milestones so at three months at two months at six weeks at six months and since he was turning three months in a few days, I was like, yep, mama was right. It's a good, it's a good thing. And I am not lying. This thing, I've said it to my husband, I've said it to my mom. I'm not lying. Literally, Monday, I was looking at this boy and I was like, you know something? You, this boy, you grew yesterday. Because suddenly he was bigger. Like, I was, like, I could remember how he was on Saturday. And Monday, honestly, he was bigger. His body was bigger. His hands were bigger. A big, it sounds like bigger size. Honestly, he grew. And the other thing I noticed that now, honestly, after that whole sleeping thing that he did, now he's more aware of his hands. So when he's trying to find the breast and he can't find it, then he puts his hands in his mouth. And he wasn't doing that before. At first, when he was putting his hands in his mouth, it was as if it was like a reflex. He wasn't intentionally doing it. But now, he's intentionally putting his fist in his mouth and sucking on them when he's is fingers so i was right about the growth space there's one question i've had a lot since i gave it to him and that is how is serum taking everything how serum adjusted and serum has been great he's been great with this boy he's been great he hasn't i haven't noticed like and Shallow Street, those things that I used to hear about, like the little sibling who would try and beat the baby, and you know, like out of jealousy, and those things. I haven't noticed it in him. He's been a sweet big brother, no lie. So, I think I mentioned it in um, one of my vlogs. When he gets back from school, he said, Mama, baby, baby, cuckoo. Um, he'll get back from school and be like, Cuckoo, what's it then? He'll come and he wants to hold his hand. And I'm like, I always have to, I feel bad, but I always have to suck him that he should go and wash his hands and come back. Then you come and hold a uh, cuckoo's hand, Cuckoo, what's it then? And those who don't understand Cuckoo, what's it then? means, Cuckoo, how are you? Cuckoo, how are you? Cuckoo, what's it then? And then I'll respond on behalf of Cuckoo that, Oh, yeah, Sarah, what's it then? And he will say, Oh, yeah. And then sometimes he will see. He will, like he will just come and say, "Mommy, baby," and like he wants to recently, he wanted to keep, like he I noticed he was giving him kisses like on his cheek. And I said, "Say, you have a cold. I don't want this baby getting a cold again. I beg you. I know you love your brother, but you there. Hold on." So he's been, um, he's been great with his brother. Um, when he's in his bouncer serum come and push him around he will keep pulling the toy so that the music plays for him if cuckoo is crying he'll be like mama baby is crying mama baby is so and i like the way serum makes this so fancy and english in one sentence it's so funny mama baby is so cuckoo means so cuckoo don't cry mama and now since his vocabulary is also expanding mama baby is happy cuckoo is happy and sometimes when i'm feeding cuckoo and cuckoo is doing his thing so it's like he keeps dropping the breast out of his mouth or something like he's not opening his mouth wide enough so um, apparently he's actually noticing that he will shout cuckoo but when no means cuckoo open your mouth the first time he did this i was like okay big brother <laughs> command your little brother to behave and i thought that was cute yeah so he likes to give him hugs and play with him this morning um i woke up early so i put cuckoo in his um, his bouncer and then Sarah woke up around 30 minutes later when he came he just took his chair he sat in front of Cuckoo and was just staring at him and then another thing that he does is um, 
after pushing him, there was a day I was bathing and I was just home with the two of them. And then suddenly I can't find Kuku. So I called Sarah and said, Kuku, where him? Where's Kuku? Where's Kuku? And I was like, Mama, Kuku is Z. And like, which means Kuku is eating. And I'm like, what do you mean by Kuku is Z? What, what are you putting in his mouth? And he's like, Mama, Kuku is Z. And then he says after a slew of words, look at me like, I'm pissing him off. Like, Madam, what, what is it? So I was trusting that he wasn't putting anything in this boy's mouth. When I finished bathing, I went to find the two of them in the kitchen. Kuku was relaxing in his bouncer, minding his business, right beside Serum's chair. And Serum was eating his breakfast. So it's like, oh, Kuku is eating breakfast. So that's what he meant. I was like, I you kids. So Serum has been great with his brother to answer that question. <clears throat> and one thing I've noticed about this boy is if I am super, super tired and I sleep have him sleep beside me the whole night which means that the breast is in and out of his mouth as and when he pleases when he wakes up in the morning he is extremely happy and content he will just start smiling and that's what happened this morning last night he was beside me the whole night he was extremely extremely happy and content and be smiling yeah so that's about it there's one thing i wrote here um all touched out i used to wonder what some moms meant by all touched out it's like your kids have been touching you all day it's like you don't want your husband to, to touch you it's like nobody should touch me i do to sarah because like sometimes i'm tired of this human being being stuck to me the whole time breastfeeding and sarah will come and he wants to lie on my lap and he wants a certain part of his hand on my my, my head or my neck like and I'm like, Sarah, give me space, let me breathe. But then sometimes I feel bad doing that because it's like, it's like he also wants attention. He always giving this baby attention. But I do my best to give him attention when he wants to play or he wants me to read a book to him. I do my best with that. But sometimes I just don't want any put this hand on my body. Don't touch me. But that's when Sarah also wants love and he wants his hand here or he wants his head touching his head. Ah, God. As long as I feel bad showing him out here, but my mental health matters. <laughs> so anyway, that is it for our baby updates. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I need to do an outro when Sarah may say one of these days to see if he will do it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.